Juneteenth events are already underway and in South Nashville yesterday, folks celebrated the return of the Napier Day Parade and Block Party. News Channel 5's RSL Crescencio was there for the celebration that organizers say is about more than just one day. All around, creativity is flourishing in South Nashville. So I'm still coloring. But it's not just children coloring. Different nonprofits are working to color in the gaps communities of color often face too. We want to come in and reverse that stigma, uh, transform the, the, the community morale, and, and see where we can connect the dots between some community partners and uh, uh, true servant leaders of South Nashville. For the first time since the pandemic, the Napier Day Parade and Block Party returned to South Nashville to honor the rich legacy left behind by African-American leaders. The day is actually in honor of James Carroll Napier, who was actually the first black U.S. Secretary of Treasury and founder of the first black bank in America. I can't explain. But the event also looks to find ways to make sure people in diverse communities access resources that historically have not been given to them. A lot of new business, new opportunities coming to the city, and the same residents that have been here for the past 10, 20, Five, six generations have really been here, and how do we make sure that those residents are centered in the narrative? How do we um, focus and raise their voices? Organizers say the block party is all about taking care of each other, which is why the event is not only a celebration, it's a time to connect people with organizations working for them, offering services like mental health resources, job opportunities, youth programs, and more. Together, we're working to you know, blaze a new trail, blaze a new legacy um, that's really rooted in what, what has always been here under the surface. The hope is that the next generation can live in a more prosperous community. I think good. Oh, very nice. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5. The group that organized the event, the Black Mental Health Village Men's Initiative, says plans to host a block party like this every year from now on.